Hi, KIPP Ujima students. Welcome to a fabulous new year. My name is Miss Aldana. I am your art teacher for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. So we're gonna be going through a PowerPoint so that you can feel prepared for how my class will run virtually. I graduated at my 5% in high school. I have my bachelor's degree in fine arts, as well as my master in arts from the Maryland Institute College of Art here in Baltimore, Maryland, which is a private school and in the top three schools and very competitive to get into for art. I started my own study abroad program in Nicaragua, where I am from, to teach people film and mural making. You can visit some of my work by going to two websites. One of them is bemoreculture.com and the other is artofsolidarity.org. Finally, I was named a 2018 Baltimore Innovator by Baltimore Magazine. Some other fun facts, I've been vegetarian for over 23 years. I'm an immigrant and racial justice activist. I ran 15 marathons. I actually had to sit down and count how many that was as well as being fluent in Spanish. So you are welcome to practice your Spanish with me. Saludos amigos y amigas. On the left side of the screen, you will see how you can reach me. My email is emaldana at kipbaltimore.org. There's a star next to it because that is my preference. I check email daily and I will get back to you the quickest that way. But I also have my phone number. You may call me at 443 219-7202. Okay, course description. It is asynchronous. All of our enrichments you have to do independently, which means that we're not going to have a live class. You will have coursework and you have to do that at home or where you are and you will need internet and a laptop. Projects are to be explored and completed on paper. So make sure you have a lot of paper ready unless we're doing a photography or a video assignment. All of this will be asked for in a Google form, so make sure you attach your assignment to the Google form to receive full credit. Project should take you about 45 to 60 minutes to complete. You're welcome to go over that time, but we encourage you to spend between 45 to 60 minutes so you have enough time to complete all of your coursework. Your projects may be submitted more than once if you wanna try again as long as it's before the deadline. Your assignments are due once a week and they're all posted on Google Classroom. The following day, you are welcome to visit me during office time. And we'll go over that in a little bit. All right, so when I think about my art class in middle school, my middle school teacher was really inspiring and got me into uh, design and architecture senior high, which is a high school and I thought I wanted to be an architect, then I thought I wanted to be a fashion designer, and I explored a variety of different mediums, um, and I learned a lot to create my own career path. But I think the thing that motivated me the most, and still does, are materials. I love working with my hands, and I want to share that passion with you. So here are some of the materials that you will need for quarter one. Paper, pencil, eraser, some coloring pencils, markers, construction paper, scissors, glue or glue stick. I prefer glue stick, but regular Elmer's glue or generic brand glue is just fine. You're gonna need a photo camera on your phone, so make room for that. If your phone is full and you can't save images, it's gonna be important to do that. Your video camera on your phone or your computer, so make sure you have space for that and some cereal boxes. We may or may not need that. I'll um, ask you to vote on that later. Okay, grading rubric for art. So how are you graded for art? Well, here are five categories. Starting with the red side, we have a zero with rotten food. That means that you get receive zero points for that category. Then we move to orange, which is worth one point. And that you earn a slice of bread. You can't do a whole lot with a slice of bread, but we wanna recognize that something was done. Let's move along to yellow. It's a can of tuna. So, can of tuna is pretty appetizing, but oh, I feel like we could make it so much more delicious. That's when we get to category three, the blue one. 
And here we have a really nice taco. It's substantial, it's good. But when you think about any food that you want, pizza, delicious melted cheese pizza on uh, green, which is four points. So your grades will be based on four points per category. The five categories are creativity, use of art elements and art principles, understanding, achievement, and conception, self-growth, and finally, effort and participation. So if you earn pizzas on all five of these categories, you earn an A plus per assignment. And I know you can do it. And if you ever have questions, again, visit me during my office hours, send me an email, Finally, call me if you haven't heard from me, but you will hear from me. Okay, let's look at our schedule. So we have lessons with videos posted every week in our Google Classroom by eight in the morning. They are due the following week, so you have seven days to complete them by 5 p.m. So sixth grade, you receive my assignments on Tuesdays. Seventh grade, you receive my assignments on Wednesday. Eighth grade, you receive my assignments that's right, on Thursday. And then the day after your assignments are posted, you can visit me during my office hours. And I will send you the Zoom link, which will show up using your KIPP org email. You will see a calendar feature and my Zoom will pop up. If it doesn't pop up, let me know. T let's take a look at this chart. We'll see three colors. There's pink, there's cyan, and there's orange. Miss Aldana, how did you pick these colors? I'm so glad you asked. It turns out that these are the top three highlighter color markers I have in my house, and I love to work with what I have. So for bright magenta pink highlighter, we have six gray. So Towson and UNC, my office hours over Zoom are on Wednesdays from 1045 to 1110 AM. UMBC, RMC, my office hours are also on Wednesday from 12.55 p.m. to 1.20 p.m. F&M and Castleton, Wednesdays you can see me from 2.30 to 2.55. Now for Cyan is seventh grade. So NCCU and UB, Thursdays from 10.45 to 11.10 a.m. St. Mary's and Maryland, I will see you 12.55 to 1.20 p.m. Bowie, Morgan, I'll see you from 2.30 to 2.55 p.m. Bridgewater and U Chicago kicks off our eighth grade in orange on Fridays at 10.45 in the morning to 11.10 a.m. LOC Dickinson, Fridays I will see you on 12.55 to 1.20 p.m. UMES, Penn State, we're going to close off the week together on Fridays from 2.30 to 2.55 p.m. So again, these are my office hours. I will be in front of the computer, just like that kitty cat, waiting to see your beautiful faces and answer your questions over Zoom. Well, how will that work, Ms. Aldana? What are office hours? This is completely new to me, and I'm sure it's completely new to you as well. So we're gonna learn together. All right, so when you arrive for our office meetings, again, go to your Google Calendar, look at the day and time, and then you're gonna start off in the waiting room until Ms. Aldana lets you in. I want you to please change the name on your profile with your first and your last name. A good example is Taylor Johnson. You can see right now in my window, it says Maria Aldana, right? So we know who we're talking to. Here's an incorrect example. If you put little face 007, I don't know who Littleface007 is, so please use your actual name to match your email. Miss Aldana's office expectations. Just like in our classroom at school, we will have the same expectations for how we respect, care for, and interact with each other. So here are a class rules for online learning. Be prepared and on time. Turn on your camera if possible, and when you feel comfortable, when I give you instruction to turn it on. Only turn on your microphone if you are going to respond to or ask a question. You may also use the space bar to do that. So sometimes we hit the space bar by accident and our microphone will be on. So let's be mindful of that. 
avoid and do not be a distraction to others. So sometimes in the chat room, making jokes and things like that, I love a good joke, I love to laugh, but during our office time, we only have 25 minutes, so we wanna be respectful of that. In the chat, you can pose relevant comments or questions, and that will really help me make sure that I answer all questions during office hours. Use appropriate language. This is still a classroom. All right, keeping our meetings safe. It's very important that you only join your enrichment office meetings that you are invited to by your teachers. That will help us make sure which homeroom we are working with at which time and day. Your siblings and caregivers are welcome to participate in our, not only our office time, but also our lessons. All right, so let's get people involved. Where and how should you Zoom? Think of your Zoom time just like going to school. So you wanna find a quiet place away from distractions, no one in the background. I have been very mindful of my background as an artist and art teacher, making sure that I have something that is pretty clean, right? So I have uh, a tapestry from Guatemala. I have some abstract art. I have a nice lamp to make the room warm. And I have my favorite orange couch, as well as my attire, which brings us to the second point. Dress as if you're coming to school. Avoid eating or chewing gum while recording. And bring something to write with and something to write on just in case. So you may not see this, but the trick for me to know what to do and to stay organized is to keep a little notepad next to me with a handy pen and paper so that you can jot down your ideas and you can be prepared. Raising your hand. On Zoom, there's a really cool feature at the very bottom when you log on to Zoom. So if you have a question, you can still raise your hand to do this. Absences, if you are absent to school, you are still responsible for assignments. You will have as many days as you are absent to make up the work. So if you are absent one day, you have one day extra to make up the work, right? Because we have seven days to complete assignments. So if you are absent on Tuesday, then you will have until Wednesday of the following week to complete that assignment. All lessons will be uploaded to our Art Google Classroom for your reference. Originality is key. We're gonna be working on a lot of character traits. So art is valued based on its originality. Be yourself. No one can be you except you. Your words and your work should represent your ideas and your feelings. Let's keep it 100. Plagiarism is not accepted and will be graded an automatic zero and a phone call home. If an image or language is copied from another person, or a source from the internet, it is considered plagiarism. It is okay to reference another person or the internet for ideas, but it needs to be changed to significantly reflect your talents and your abilities. So I put a gear in this slide because I want your brain to think. So when I ask for your ideas, I want you to just tell me what you think, all right? If it's wrong, that's okay because it's what you think and that is correct. Adios, my friends. I look forward to seeing you in our Google Classroom for our first, second, and third assignment as we move along into this quarter. Again, if you have any questions, please refer to my contact. Bye.